From the skin picker menu, you can choose any skin for the snake that you like. For example, we can pick the orange one. We choose the game mode. You can observe that our snake is of orange color. Now that we end the game, we can share our score on the Facebook page. This will prompt a Facebook uh, login page and a player uh, can enter the information and share the score on Facebook. Now, if we go back to the starting page and go to the skin selection page, you can see that the green snake uh, skin has been unlocked. We can choose this skin and become a green snake. There are three control modes we can select from, Gamepad, D-Pad and Touch. In the Gamepad mode, we can control the snake using directional arrows and the boost button. In the D-Pad mode, you can use a little D-Pad on the right hand side to control the movement of your snake together with the boost button. And finally, you can use the touch of your finger to direct snake in the position of your finger. You can use the boost button as well. We'll now demonstrate the behavior of a snake in a game. The little snake increases in size as it eats more food. At the same time, as it increases in size, the screen uh, even slowly zooms out. At the same time, if you start accelerating, you start losing your length, you start leaving food behind, and the snake pulsates as well. Single player mode allows you to pick AI opponents to play against. Let's pick a number. Uh, let's play against 25 opponents. You can also select the difficulty of uh, AI snakes. Let's pick medium. Our AI opponents have several features that guide them. They try to avoid wolves, they try to avoid other snakes as well. In the same time, they're trying to capture the food that they see, but if you come too close to them, they'll also try to cut you off. I'll show you more of the AI behavior using a different level of difficulty. Hard snakes are uh, quite hard to play against because they can forecast your movement and it's, it is almost impossible to try to catch them off guard even if you're trying to boost towards them. If a snake hits the edge of another snake, he will die, leaving behind a trail of food. If the snake hits the edge of the wall, he also dies. Mm -hmm. A larger snake is able to consume more food due to the size of its head. From the main menu, we can choose two different modes of play, single player and the multiplayer. Within the multiplayer, you can create a new account if you don't have one. And later on, you will be able to log back in using the same username and password. For the implementation of the server, we are using a Java code uh, to build the backend server and uses Socket as the communication protocol. 
the way we do it is we send the position and the position of the snake and records whatever happened with the snake. For the implementation of the server, we are On the home screen, we also have a button for hiding eyes. We implemented the advertisement using AdMob. And by default, it is showing up at the final page. And if we start the game again, and now hide the eyes. It's not showing up, so user can turn it off at the starting page. We'll now showcase our unique feature of the game. We took the usual game of the multiplayer snakes to the next level by providing the element of capture the flag game. There exists a small amount of superfoods that make you invincible to everything in the game, but when it expires, anyone who kills you can obtain the superfood. That makes the game uh, more dynamic, more fun, especially for the player who manages to grab it, and also makes it more strategic as the players are trying to hunt the current owner of the superfood. Let's uh, find the superfood now. There you can see a snake has already consumed a superfood. The snake is flashing uh, with the rainbow colors and it is invisible, but now that it expires, we lured into the wall and we consume, we'll try to consume its superfood. And now we become the super snakes ourselves. Let's try to hunt our opponent. The arrow is pointing us in this direction. And there, we'll try to catch up and run it over. The feature was introduced from the theoretical point of view of mobile game design to balance out the element of boringness of the original game. In the same time, it doesn't disbalance the game as the owner will very soon be targeted by the opponents. We believe that our game is lots of fun and we invite you to play with or against us. Thank you for watching.